the way I like to think of fractions is using pizzas. So if we think of the fraction a half, one half, you've got one, your fraction line over two. Okay, so if I was to draw my pizza and I was to eat a half of that pizza, to work that out, we look at the bottom number first, the denominator. So that is how many we split our picture up into. So we're splitting it up into two, can you see? And the top number, the numerator, is how many slices of that pizza that I'm going to eat. So if I'm going to eat a half, we split our pizza into two, and then I eat one section of it, okay? So I eat one half. Can you see how the number the numerator is the amount we shade. So equally, if I was to eat one quarter of a pizza, we work it out exactly the same. We're splitting it up into whatever number we've got as the denominator. So we've got four. And I'm going to eat one quarter, one section of those four. So we shade in that quarter. Now, if we're trying to simplify a fraction, to simplify is basically we need to find an equivalent fraction, so equivalent means the same, so it's the same fraction but using the smallest numbers possible. Now let me show you using the pizzas. We want to find an equivalent fraction, so we want to simplify this fraction um, to the lowest it can be. So we want to find what can go into both of these numbers, okay? So if I was to draw my pizza, we're splitting it up into four. And we're shading, because I'm eating two slices. Now, can you see what fraction of the pizza I'm eating? We've looked at it before. Yeah, fantastic. It is the same... It's a half, isn't it? Now, when you come to answer these questions, I don't expect you to be drawing pizzas all over your books, okay? The easiest way to do it, this was just to show you, we look at what number can go into both of these. So, what, so two and four are in what times table? Two, that's it. So, to work out the simplified fraction, you divide the top by 2, which will give us 1, and you divide the bottom by 2. So, how many 2's going to 4? 2. So, can you see it's still a half, but it's in its simplified form? Now, the important thing to remember is whatever you do to the top, you need to do to the bottom, okay? The way I describe this is imagine you go into the gym. Okay, let's draw a quick stick man. Now when you go to the gym, if you just work on the top, you're going to have really, really muscly arms, but tiny legs, and nobody wants that. And equally, if you just do the bottom, you're going to have really muscly legs but tiny arms. So whatever you do to the top with fractions, you need to do to the bottom. So if we're dividing the top by 2 to get our smallest number on the top there, our numerator, then we need to also divide by 2 on the bottom as well. Let's have a look at another example. Let me show you my pizza. This one is going to be split up into sixths. So it's six equal parts. That's the important thing, okay? All these should be equal. So we split it up into six parts, my pizza. So I'm splitting it into six. I'm going to eat three of them because the numerator is three. So we shade in three. Two. Three. 
What fraction does that look like? I know it's not drawn very well, but what fraction does that look like? We've seen it before. Yeah, exactly. If we were to rub out these sections again, I've eaten half of the pizza again. So if we were to simplify it, we look at what number can go into both of these. We want to try and get one on top or the smallest number on top if we can. So, what times table is both of these numbers in? Yeah, fantastic. They're both in the three times table, aren't they? So, we draw our fraction line. How many threes go into three? One, because that is divided by three. And remember my gym man, whatever we do to the top, we've got to do to the bottom. So we're dividing by three on the bottom as well. So six divided by three equals two. So can you see that three sixths the simplified fraction, the smallest fraction we can get to, is a half, but they're still equal. We're not changing the amount because it's still half of a pizza. Let's have a look at this fraction then. We've got 9 over 36. So we've got 36 as the denominator, 9 as the numerator. Now, I am not going to expect you to be able to draw a pizza that is split into exactly the same 36 pieces. So instead, we're going to cut the piece a bit out of the equation, and now we're going to see what number can we get to both of these. So both of these numbers are in one of our times tables that we should know. What times table is it? Fantastic. It's your nine times table, isn't it? So dividing by nine across the top, how many nines go into nine? Fantastic. We've got one as our numerator. Now to work out our denominator. Do you remember what I said about the gym? If you go to the gym, if you're going to do loads and loads of arm work, you need to do loads of leg work as well. So otherwise you're either going to have really little arms or really little legs. So whatever you do to the top, you've got to do to the bottom. Divide by 9. So how many 9's go into 36? We've got 9, 18, 27, 36. So we've got 1 quarter. So we know that 9 36 is equivalent to one quarter. So it's the same fraction, just in its most simplified form. Let's have a look at this one now. So we've got 14 over 35. 14 is our numerator, 35 is our denominator. Now straight away you might see the 14 and think, oh, 2 goes into that one. But can we divide this 35 by 2 without going into decimals? We can't. So that's not the right one. So there is another times table that both of these numbers are in that we can use to work out this, to simplify it. Fantastic, it's 7. So we're dividing by 7 across the top. So how many 7's going to 14? Brilliant, 2. And how many 7's go into 35? Yep, that's right, 5. So can you see, we don't always have 1 as our numerator, but this is the lowest we can go without going into decimals. So the equivalent uh, fraction in its most simplified form is 2 fifths. So imagine the pizza is split into 5 equal parts. That's going to be a bit tricky. 1, 2, 3. Okay, imagine they're equal, and we're eating 2 sections and that is equivalent to that fraction. So here are the questions for you to have a go at. I want you to find the most simplified form of 6 eighths, 30 over 36 and 24 over 88. Let's have a look at some of these answers then. So we've got 6 over 8. What number can we get into both 6 and 8? Now we know 3 goes into 6, but does 3 go into 8? No, it doesn't, does it? But we, both, we know that both of these are even numbers. So we can divide by 2. Divide by 2 on the top. Divide by 2 on the bottom. So 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. 8 divided by 2, which will give us 4. So can you see how 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 quarters? That is our most simplified form. 
Let's have a look at this next one. 30 over 36. Now, 3 does go into both of these. But is there a bigger number that we can get into both of these? So if 3 goes into it, do you think we could try getting 6 into it? So how many 6s go into 30? 5. And how many 6s go into 36? 6. Can we get that any lower? So to any smaller numbers? We can't, can we? So that's the lowest simplified equivalent fraction. We've got 5 over 6, 5 sixths. Let's have a look at this one. Now, I'm going to do this the slow way, just to show you how we could work this out. Okay? So, what is the highest number that we could get into both 24 and 88? Now, if you're not completely sure, let's go a bit lower. We know that both of these are in the 4 times table. So, we could divide by 4 and divide by 4 which will give us, how many 4's go into 24? Have you got it? Yep, fantastic, we've got 6. And how many 8? How many 4's go into 88? Brilliant, we've got 22. Now can you see that both of these are even numbers, so we know that isn't the most simplified form. So what number now can go into both of these? Yeah, we can get 2 into both of them, can't we? Because they're even numbers. Whatever you do to the top, do to the bottom. How many 2's go into 6? 3. How many 2's go into 22? Yep, yeah, we've got 11. So that is your most simplified form. But can you see how there was a quicker way to get to that one? Because both of these are in the 8 times table. So we could have straight away done 24 divided by 8 which will give us 3 88 divided by 8 which will give us 11 okay so your answers are 3 quarters 5 sixths and 3 elevenths